Hey Steve, this is just a quick video to show you the chop saw saw hood setup, just to make sure we're on the exact same page here. Uh, once you, when you got this saw hood, you know it should have been folded in half. There was that elastic joint in here. We pulled it apart and put it together like a camping tent pole. Uh, once you've got the frame, you know, set up, you put the accessory holes into your saw, into the back here. As you can see, I've got mine extended almost all the way out to the edge. I can even push it out to the edge here. Uh, and once it's out like that, you know, you can see here that I've got this one stretched and it, it wraps around just fine. So I just want to cover a few other things. Once you've got the frame set up, you, know, you want to make sure all these little connections are done. All these little Velcro tabs uh, are connected to the support members. Then the first Velcro you should do should be the top. You know, you should get this Velcro tab done. Uh, you should still have Velcro up here. That's what you use to attach the front cover. Once you have the top done, you should move on to the sides. Uh, how the sides work is you do have to peel the Velcro apart. Once it's peeled apart, you wrap it around, cinch it closed. It should stretch to fit, and there should still be Velcro here on the outside. Again, that's what you use for the front cover. Um, then you'll have those, you know, the four connection points, one, two, two on the other side, three, four. Uh, and you should be able to stretch those around and still have Velcro on the outside for attaching the front cover. Um, if you've done this, yours just totally isn't stretching. There's a chance it's a production defect, and we can look into that. Uh, thanks for watching.